Hi. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to Game Guys. I am Kato. Here at Kato's Corners, where I am playing the Shadows of the Erd Tree with a cone on my head. Last time, we got the new cherry and blue raspberry flavored paired weapon, Rolana's Twin Blades. We took him out for a test spin, and I have to go back here because the Shadow Pot guy that we need to defeat to get the Scatter Tree Fragment whooshed away. Which is why I am up to the task. Dudes be, be getting sad these days. Nope, 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 nope. Not this time. There we go. All right, and you and me, we got some unfinished business. Be ready to, like, dodge roll a lot. Really? Did you just clip through the rock just so you can get your grab move off? Miyazaki loves to bend the rules for his NPCs, I've noticed. And now that we have roasted his rump, the rump roast has been provided, it's time to move on. Let's also mark this spot, and let's go to number two. Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? I don't know. I haven't the faintest clue. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so here's another thing that you can, that you, okay, oh yeah, we need to go hit the, okay, I remember this part. We need to go find the little white stone thingy that's nearby. We hit that, that unlocks the vent. Okay, there's this dragon. I'm going to just not bother him while I look for my shiny rock. But we might as well uh, tickle some grace while I'm at it. How delightful. Now, this castle fortress looks quite intriguing. Marionette, well, fuck. But at least I got the smithing stone six. My life feels complete now. So it occurs to me, I went the wrong way. All right, Marionette. Shadow Marionette fight. You know, there's more than one direction besides forward. No! Oh, I knew it was coming too! God. Man, that was the best hand job ever. You know if these marionettes existed in real life, that would they would be commercialized for hand job and it would be one of the most profitable industries. And I would maybe go for a test run. Now comes with voice recognition! Hi, big boy. Oh, when you... When you cap those flags in Valorant, so hot. <laughs> ah, it's an orange item. Blessing America, yay. Gotta go up to that cliff. And there's another marionette. Or is that one just deactivated? So I need to unlock that vent which is unlocked by finding the rock thingy, which is somewhere here, I think. Ah, uh, classic rune arcs. I must now proceed to do some backtracking. I'm having trouble finding the stone. It basically unlocks the, the steam ventilation. All right, so here's the vent that I want to unlock. We need to find a rock nearby. That's 
that looks, it's like glowy white, similar like that. I could have sworn it was up on one of these cliff sides. Or maybe it's this way. Is there a way, can I just actually go around this way? I might be able to just go around. Oh, here it is. This is what we were looking for. And because my aim is so impeccable, Nice one, nice one. Okay, well the sheep's nearby, so I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt the sheepies, but it doesn't matter because I got the peepees open. I'm not sure what that was supposed to imply, but the ventilation is now uh I'm able to get up here now. Oh we got more death birds. Classic death birds. Wrong Gatorade. Uh oh, I aggroed some death birds. We're in for it now. Well, you know. Just continue making my way this this time around. And another scout tree fragment. Let's go ahead and light this grace up. Brings up the scout tree blessing to nine. Now then, where to next? All right, after consulting the directory, we're gonna go this way next. Somewhere a great rune has broken. Uh, I didn't do it. And so too has a powerful charm. Ah. Okay, it's time for the next boss fight. Let's see how I fare. Pretty decently so far, except when I take the hits. Whoops. Missing all sorts of attacks. How's the melee? Melee damage is actually pretty decent. I just need to learn how to dodge attacks. Also, I forgot to level up before entering this fight. Now I gotta go for my runes. This is a bag of cock. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna try this again. Man, what a bag of cock. Try this, whoa, whoa, hey, oh, nope, nope. Heal up, god damn it. See if I can make that range work out to my benefit. You just gotta work with the gap closers. And just like that, yeah, a little patience can go a long way. And I know I can get some extra hits, but you know, just trying to get a feel for this. And I am, yeah, now he's in porcupine mode. Mistimed that. He's going to do some shenanigans. I'm a sippy here. Ow. And yet, this is the boss design. You're going to back up, I'm going to move him forward. You're going to go to the side, I'm going to swoop around. Me as 
The boss design in Shadows of the Earth Tree, what makes this expansion difficult is that Miyazaki has been paying attention to how players have been playing his games, and he has been basically designing bosses to counterplay the players. You stand at the gate and you start buffing, they're just going to start with a gap closer. Oh, you're going to back up and heal? Well, we're just going to have him just keep going forward. Oh, you, you, you dodged him? Well, we're just going to give him, like, more and more attacks. I think part of the reason why players... Why this expansion may have left a bad taste in some players' mouths is because it feels like the expansion is intentionally trying to counter everything that we worked and build up in, like, the base game. Maybe I'm being overdramatic, but that's just kind of what it feels like at times. It's like, no matter what you do, there's always some counterplay. There's always a counterplay. Zero exploits allowed. Red? Like, one cast at a time. Just one cast at a time. And then... And now instead of going for this, we just do this a lot. Take out my runes while I'm at it and almost die in the fucking process. Really? The grab moves need to fucking... <sighs> yeah, this is when we need to go into melee now. Because I'm not going to really have the time. Hmm, looks like the fire might be, like, my main focus of attack. Considering potentially getting another level tier and just focusing more on faith to get that fire damage up. But then again, there are times when you, when you just need to melee the boss instead of just spamming fire. That was the grab attack, and I got greedy there. And lucky, apparently. I thought I was dead. We twirl the fire about, we twirl the fire about, is he going to, yep. None of that hit. Death perception with the hitboxes is so fucking obnoxious. I should have waited for the attack. It's like when you get, it's hard to like, it's hard to do commentary when you're in the middle of a tough fucking boss fight. That's why I tend to just make a lot of fucking silly sounds. Ah, ah, ah. 
Let's try this. All right, another time, another go. So he's gonna go with his big old fucking chompers. Red. I'll do that, and then... Grab moves are so fucking obnoxious because it just wastes your goddamn time. Especially if you know it's a kill move. Then it's really fucking obnoxious. Cool, that works out. Damn it. Mm. Here's the thing about Rolanda's cameo. I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of value out of that because you need to hold the stance, and bosses are just... They're not going to give you a moment to breathe. I'm probably going to have to replace that with something else. I have an idea. What if we do this? We go Great Jar's Arsenal. Erdtree's Favor. My endurance is not high enough. Okay, I think I'm ready for battle now. There we go. I'm gonna pop the physic right away. Mm. Wait, I'm heavy now? What the fuck did this happen? Oh, I equipped the Burger King crown. Give me a second. Oh, shit. Guess I'm fat rolling this fight. I died. Yeah, this game, yeah, this expansion doesn't give a fuck what your build is. You're gonna play it its way, or you're gonna go back to the lands between. I'm, I'm going back to my usual setup. Terran should be with me anyways. All right, here's the adjusted setup. All right, let's take another crack at it. Oh, he went for chompers. I'm also no longer fat rolling. All right, now he's doing this shit. Yeah, this fight just was so off. So, I think I have a way to make this build more better and viable, now that I got this boss weapon. But it means we're gonna have to go back to the lands between, and we're gonna put a bookmark in the Shadow Realm for the time being. 
because I actually want to focus on specifically the fire damage. So I'm going to continue the same deal. You know, we're going to keep, keep putting points in between. Um, maybe we just, yeah, we just focus on, we think, I'm going to take some time to kind of, we got a, We got a pretty solid proof of concept because this was the build I've, I've been keeping in mind since starting this particular uh, playthrough, this series as well. I started uh, shield fighting early on so that new players to the game will have an easier early to mid game experience. But as you can tell, we have dropped the shield now that we're in the late game and we're in the uh, shadow realm. Because unless you are absolutely spec for shield fighting, just putting a shield on, on any build, it just... Yeah. These bosses hit hard, and unless you're actually spec for blocking, you're probably not going to be able to block a whole lot of attacks. So yeah, we are going to put a bookmark here for now. You know what? I'll put this here. We'll, we'll, we're going to put a literal pin-looking icon. I know it's a banner, but it could also be a pin. We're gonna pin it. Let's head back to the lands between and head back to mountaintops of the giants. All right, now you're probably wondering, you're gonna fight another boss and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're now gonna fight the fire giant instead because we need to get to Faramazula. Also, I can also go ahead and grab some the, the Smithing Stone Bell 4, so if there's a weapon I want to upgrade, I don't have to go, like, f looking for them. For the 7 and 8s. Ah. Now. All oh, right, I was gonna... So, fighting the Fire Giant. Fuck, I got distracted there. So we don't need these. What we need is this. And... Now let's go for these two. Uh, recovery speed and take a free hit basically and you're probably wondering if I'm going against the fire giant yeah you see the cool thing about this paired weapon is that this sword my offhand sword does the fire damage for my primary weapon if I just hold down the right trigger with the primary weapon it only does magic damage, and this is primarily how I'm going to be attacking the Fire Giant. Because my usual method of damage, he is very highly resistant to it, because obviously he's a Fire Giant. Maybe I could even try doing the magic swooshies. Oh, there it is. I was like, where the fuck is this chain bridge? Also, you can fight this boss on horseback, if you so desire. There he is. Actually, some pretty decent damage. Okay, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's get off Torrent. We can speed this up a bit. I just got back from the Shadow Realm. I know what it feels like to get killed in like... Woohoo! And yeah, we're just gonna pelt his ankle like this with the magic sword. Oh, I should have gotten the. I should have equipped the Flame Drake uh, Talisman. Yeah, that would have been helpful. I have the plus one. Huh. That's right. There's also physical damage. Oh, yeah. Pierce damage does more. I forgot about that. Alright, fire, 
fire giant is gonna know. <laughs> Ow. You know, I thought I was clever enough to just be out of the fire. Yeah, I'm just kind of poke him at this point. This is just kind of how I usually just finish the second phase. I mean, he's got such a big hitbox. Just just press the attack button until the for a little while until it goes down. All right, now I can take that free hit because I got the bubble tier. Wait for the fire. Oh, did I actually catch his foot? Dude, I'm just trying to put you out of your misery. All right, yeah, go ahead. Do your little florple norples. Or is it? Because I had the bubble tier. And increased uh, stamina regen is always good. Oh, I see. I have to cut that other ankle thing. Oh! You think I would have figured that out after, like, how many hours of playing this game? I got way too greedy there. All right. I like to thank everyone at the academy for this bountiful oh you are not getting away you are not getting away mister come on come on come on come on just end his misery already there we go fire giant you may now go to sleep Okay, let's just go ahead and get to Faramazula, and I think we're good to call it. This also kind of works out because I can now take this DLC weapon. Ooh, that's a far way down. And I can now take on some of the late game uh, base game content with the DLC weapon. <gasps> it's a good dog. I didn't realize those were dogs. Ah, here we are. And now we can finally level up. Okay, two points into faith. Hey, now I can now I can go for Golden Vow. Okay, yeah, I did say we'd go to Faramazula. Let's do that. All right, Melina, do your thing. Or Melina. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> Ugh. Even as a joke, that was cringe. I'm gonna take a nap now. Uh, how long was I asleep for? I appear to have uh, overslept a bit. God damn. Got the party started while I was asleep? You guys are dicks. You started the tornado thing without me? Oh, I am. You're gonna hear from me, misters. 
Well, anyways, now that we finally made it to Faramazula, I'd like to thank everyone for joining me here at Kato's Corners. We will be returning to uh, the Shadow Realm, but we need to refine this build a bit. And there's still some tools in the lands between I need to collect, but I needed to get to Faramazula first. So without, so yep, yeah, and uh, take care, everyone. Have a good one.